when we're on our Zoom call, our ears are on. Turn your ears on, listening ears. And we sit as still as we can. If you have to stand up for a little bit, that's okay, but I wanna make sure I can see your face at all times. Deal? All right. This book is called Dragons Love Tacos. Give me a thumbs up if you've read this book before. Brody, twinsies, some of my twinsies. Okay, cool. Well, I've never read this book before, so this will be my first time reading it. Okay, we'll read it together. Dragons love tacos. Mmm. That says the taco cave. I want to live in a taco cave. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Tiny little baby tacos. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch or the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Hmm, I wonder why they love tacos so much. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate the spicy green salsa and the spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons cannot stand it. Thumbs up if you like spicy salsa. Thumbs down if you don't like spicy salsa. Ooh, I got like some half and halves. Ooh, all right. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes the dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Salt spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, Oh boy, if you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for dragon tacos. Mm, this book is making me hungry. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Oh, no. He's holding his tummy because his tummy hurts. <gasps> Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and little tiny parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of good friends laughing. Mm, I like parties. The only thing dragons love more than parties, or tacos, is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many taco dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? He says, oh yeah. Just remember, dragons also hate spicy salsa. But before you host your taco party with dragons, 
get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury it in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. He's burying all his salsa. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Look at all those taco loving dragons. <gasps> it's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. Ooh, totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh no, oh no. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They're super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons but you are not gonna love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Too late. Look at all that fire coming out of the, the dragons. They're going, ah! so spicy! Whoa. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. They burned your house down, but don't worry, they helped build it back. After all, we know dragons love what? Tacos. The end. That's a good one, huh? I like that book a lot because I love tacos too. <laughs> all righty, are you ready for calendar? Are you ready for calendar? Are you ready for calendar? All right, let's go ahead and count the days. Does anyone remember what month it is? It is September. Everyone say September. Good job. Let's, oh, I forgot to move the little red day. Ready to jump with me? Boing. Today is number, oh, I don't know that one. Will you help me count? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today is day is the tenth. Okay, now we're gonna go up, 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 up. Today is, you're gonna put your thumb right here under your chin. You're gonna stick your tongue out at me and say, Thursday. Good, let's do it again. Thursday, kiss your brain, good job. Say, today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Good job, you guys did it. All right, you ready for days of the week? With the music, because you guys are so smart now, you can do it with the music, huh? Oh yeah, Mrs. Taylor. I'm ready. All right, Let's make sure my, my phone's turned up so you can hear it. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Monday and it's Monday, it's Tuesday and it's Wednesday, it's Thursday and it's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. There's Monday. There's Tuesday. And there's Wednesday. There's Thursday. And
then the Friday, and then the Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Did you hear the burn at the end? You guys are so good. No, 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 phone. I'm trying to play new music. I did not say that was okay. All right, who's ready for Macarena Month? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. If you don't want to dance with me, that's okay. I want to see your mouth moving, though. I want to hear you saying January, February, March, April, because we need to learn our months, okay? All right, I'm going to back up so you can see me. Can you see me? All right. Okie dokie, ready? If you want, stand up and find yourself some space. Four times, ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Good job! January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Big breath! January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Last time! January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, turn and sit right down. Good job. Kiss your brains. You did so good. I can't believe how good you did. Okay. Come back to me. Whoa, too close. All right. Who's ready? Oh, wait, hold on. You guys are trying to cheat on looking my pattern, huh? All right, we need to add a day, don't we? We need to add another day so we can get closer to our party. Woo! All right, we're grabbing a straw. We're putting it up here. And we have to count how many. Will you guys help me? We're getting to bigger numbers. Look at all these straws now. That's a lot of counting. Let me see if I can do this so that we can count them easier. So many straws. Are you ready to help? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, man. We're at eight days of school. Well, where's my number eight, guys? Where's the number eight? Oh, I found it. Number eight. Ooh. Whoa. Eight days of school. You've been in kindergarten or TK for eight days. Can you believe it? You guys are so cool. I love it. Okay, let's talk about our shapes and our colors, and then we'll do pattern and the estimation jar and maybe a question. You ready? So we're jumping over here. Last week, our color of the week was red, and our shape was a rhombus. Everyone say rhombus. Red rhombus. Good. Now this week's, the color of the week is pink. Oh, that's not pink. Um, yellow? Oh, good, yellow. Okay, will you sing the yellow song with me? I haven't even taught you the pink song. You couldn't do that one, huh? All right, ready? <gasps> Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. 
Good job. Let's do it one more time. If you can, I want to see your big face in the camera. Only for the word yellow, okay? Ready? Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. <laughs> like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. <laughs> you guys did so good. I love being silly. Okay, the shape. We had a rhombus last week. What's this shape again? It has four equal sides. What's it called? Square. Everyone say square. Now we're going to say it like superhero. Square. Let's say it like Mickey Mouse. Ha! Huh? Square. Good job. OK, let's say it like a dinosaur. Get your little T-Rex arms up. Square. Square, square, square. <laughs> okay, and one last one. Let's say it like a whale, like Dory singing the whale. Ready? Square. Good job. Kiss your brain. You guys did so good. A square has four sides, four equal sides. Okay, you ready to look at our pattern? Make a pattern. Let's make a pattern. Let's make a pattern. All right. Remember, this pattern is called ABB pattern. You ready? Rhombus square square. Rhombus square. What do you think it is? Show me. Do you think it's a square or a rhombus with your hands? Make a square. I know it's kind of hard. That kind of looks like a circle. Make a square or a rhombus. What do you think it is? Ooh, I have some good guesses. It's a square. If you were wrong, kiss your brain. You just learned something new. Okay, now we got to figure out what comes next after that. Okay, so listen, turn your ears on. Because when we're doing patterns, you have to hear the pattern. Rhombus, square, square. Rhombus, square, square. What comes next? Show me with your hands. Is it a square or a rhombus? What do you think? Ooh. It's a rhombus. If you were right, kiss your brain. If you were wrong, kiss your brain anyways. You did a good job. Patterns are hard. That's why we practice them every day. Because the more you practice, the better you'll get. Good job. All right, you ready to guess how many pom-poms are in the jar? I forgot to change it. You ready? I'm gonna get you nice and close and you're gonna use your fingers to tell me how many. You ready? Okay. No talking, just fingers. What do you think? I made it super hard today, didn't I? What do you think? How many pom-poms did you see? Hold up your fingers to show me. Oh, I think almost everybody got it right. Remember, if you get it wrong, is that okay? All right, you ready to count them? Let's reach in the estimation. Estimation means a guess. I'm gonna hold them in my hand and we're gonna count them. You ready? One. Two, there was only two today. If you got it right, if you got it wrong, good job, good job. So now you know what two looks like and you should be able to count it fast now. You guys are so good. Let's see what our estimation. Mm. I think we're gonna skip that one today kind of a hard one. So that is it for the day. There was something else I wanted to tell you. I don't remember. Okay, smarty farties. Go be awesome today, okay? Thumbs up if you're going to have an awesome day. All right. You better give me a thumbs up, mister.
no sideways thumbs. We're having an awesome day today. If you tell yourself you're gonna have an awesome day, then you will have an awesome day, okay? Alrighty.